Right, Campagnolo Super Record Wireless is finally here. So there were a lot of rumours about this turning up. And in my opinion, it is pretty disappointing. Now, you might say, Charlie, why? And I think there's going to be two main points. Point number one is the price. The price is, like, kind of ridiculous to the fact of, like, £4,500. A grand more than ETAP. And, you know, it doesn't have a power meter and everything else. I just think it's getting to the point where, like, I know it's a luxury good like Campagnolo, like it is definitely luxury, but four and a half is just like kind of beyond the realms of most people. Um, and I think it just makes it kind of almost irrelevant, this whole review. But I will do this review anyway, because I think it's important to see where Campagnolo are going and how Campagnolo and SRAM are going together and Shimano is standing on its own. So it's fully wireless. So you can see this front mech here, I think looks pretty disgusting, to be honest. It looks like the ETAP one, not the massive fan. I like the carbon finish on it. Um, again, it's, um, it's pretty nice, this front mech, uh, not the best. The, there's not really a press release from Campagnolo itself. They seem like they just gave it to loads of other people to do a review on. Um, and then we're kind of going through, so we've got the, it's still 12 speed. Uh, we'll go into the sprockets in a minute. So they say the braking's better. Um, the rear derailleur, I mean, that is stunning. Like that is very, very nice. Um, if we look at the rear derailleur again, like all of it is pretty nice. Weight wise, 295. It's not not crazy light but it, it is decent um if we kind of go down to here so you can see it's like got the no thumb shifter so that's a big change so it really is going towards more and more SRAM Shimano style in terms of shifting um actually the people who pioneered this type of shifting were FSA but FSA are kind of useless I'm sure the disc braking will be better I just think every time they release disc brakes it'll be it'll be good um you'll see the new gear combinations we're going to get into um, and they're saying it's, it's good for the cadence, but still 12 speed. So it's not just kind of too excited. This is like the picture of all of it. Um, again, it looks pretty nice all around. Is this power meter? I think it might be, but it's kind of rogue. They didn't release it as a power meter. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're going to get onto the gear ratios because I think that's really like why I'd say why, in my opinion, at least it's going more towards, um, SRAM. So the gear, um, the gear ratios they're using 10 to they said, Dave Arthur said, they reckon it's 0.1% difference. I just, no one said, thinks that. Um, and I think what it goes to show is that they're going towards more consumer, like level, less race focused, which is fine. But the cassettes are tiny, like 10 to 29 is, is not big at all. So I don't get why you do that. Um, like a 10 to 25 tooth is just a joke. So the cassette is light. That 210 per 12 speed cassette is mad light. So fair play on Campy. They have done that uh, pretty well. But you can see here's the crank set. Again, looks stunning. The options are 45, 29, 48, 32 or 50, 34. Again, I think this is an improvement. Um, in my opinion, if I was making crank sets at the moment, I would do 50, 34, 56, 42 and then some of the smaller ones. Because basically, if you're racing, you want a massive gear. And if you're not racing, you don't want a big gear. No one needs 52, 36, pointless. Who wants that? Just race, have proper gears or not proper gears. Um, so I think that's fine. And obviously, a 50, 10 um, is the same as a 55, 11, which is a big gear. Um, but I just think, like, if I was campy, a 45, 29 is, is nice. But then a 10, 29 is a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't think that's that good. Um, if you look at Shimano, they go 105, they have a, an 1136 um, on a 105 level with a 34, that's easier than one-to-one. -one. So I don't really get it. Um, in my opinion, it would be nice if they did a 10 to 32 or something like that, binned off the 10 to 25, because I just don't think anyone's going to buy that. And then, you know, you'd have some real nice gears, 29, 32, that's, that's very easy. Um, and again, 4832 is similar to a 5011 um, in terms of the biggest gear. And then if you had a 3232, that's one to one. So again, I think that would be nicer. Um, again, it's pretty nice uh, aesthetically for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. You can see I'm pretty sure that has a power meter as well. But I don't really understand. Like they don't seem to say it has a power meter, but then it looks like it kind of does have a power meter. Um, so unconvinced uh, at the moment. I don't think, I guess it doesn't have power meter, but look at like, what is that? Um, but yeah, again, I'm just a bit unenthused by it. I don't really like the 10 tooth. I think it's less efficient. I don't really like gear ratios. They don't seem to make sense. It's kind of going away from being a racy group set, which is fine because no one races. I get that, like racing is very minimal. Um, but yeah, I just think, I think it's better that it isn't wide anymore. 
Um, I think basically now it means that headset design can be better because now no group sets are wired at a decent like Ultegra, um, both SRAMs and everything above for Shimano, obviously. And these guys, it means you don't need any wires going from the headset to the to the gears, which is good. But, you know, at the end of the day, the front mech is not that aesthetically pleasing. They've gone for weird gear ratios. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's that exciting. We look at the price on Barrett Radar, four and a half thousand. You know, it, it gets to the point where you're like, ah, I don't really see the massive the massive gain the massive reason you'd buy it obviously it's aesthetically it's nice um but you know it's not it's not game changing that's for sure um i think it's just kind of a more expensive version of sram and yeah anyway cheers for watching let me know what you think in the comments below i'll see you in the next one